Hi everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Well, I just got done putting this machine back together and I'm going to show you photos. My last blog entry about the Coates and Clark thread, how everybody, um, you know, you read online where people say their dealers tell them it's bad thread, stay away from it. Well, I even asked a couple people who claimed they were techs and dealers that responded and saying it's bad thread. I asked them why they never documented it. You know, and I said, why don't you guys document it? Why don't you do a video? Why don't you take pictures and say, this is what it looks like? Because one person said, oh, you have to take the hood off. You have to take the covers off to see inside. Well, that's what I did. And I took photos to show you guys. And this is the coat's thread. You know, I should have actually um, videotaped this for you to show you inside. But the, my, my inside is absolutely clean, as you'll see in the photos. And here I go with my coat's thread. Gonna sew, and so it's just as beautiful as ever. Flawless results I get. So, you know, this controversy is like, I open up the inside and it was completely clean. Okay, here's that, here's, here's that thread. Here's that thread. That's, you know, beautiful. Let's see here. Okay, well, I got that on. See, there's my settings. There's my settings. Here's my settings. Here's a big, another piece I've been testing it on here. Let me increase my stitch length because it's the tighter stitch you really can't see. Let's go to let's go to 4.0 and let's do it on that other piece of fabric again. Let me go back on here and do that on this piece of fabric. So I've got coats thread on the top. It's dual duty. This is the regular construction thread. I got the dual duty on the bottom. Let's see if I can. It's my lighting, so I can see. There it is. I increase the stitch length so you can see it better. There's the top. Here's the bottom. I, I, I have no problems. So I'm going to ask all you guys that do tech repair and everything, you know, because I've worked with Coach Threads. I've been working with them since the beginning. I've worked with them in my books. I've worked with the company. They sent them to me to use for my books and my sewing on the road and teaching. Never had issues. So I'm asking all you techs out there who are telling your customers that Coates thread is bad thread, um, document it. If you, and like the one says, oh, you got to take the hood off to see how bad it is inside. Well, I take my hoods off all the time and I don't see anything bad in there and I don't have any problems. So you techs, videotape it. And put the thread next to it and say this is Coates thread and send it to Coates because if it's if you're if you're finding this stuff I'm certainly not finding it and I'm, I'm being truthful and just like years ago they'd say to me oh you can't use metallic threads your machines don't like metallic threads and I had successful flawless results with metallic threads since I began sewing and learned how to use them you know okay so that's what I'm gonna say so enjoy the photo show um, I'm going to repeat these photos for you just so you can see when I took it apart and the guts inside it. All right. And um, yeah. So, oh, and this is my new paint job I, sh I showed you in my other previous video. That's my new paint job. You like that? I think it looks so pretty. All right. Talk to you all later. Take care. Love you. Bye.